Well, g'day all, Peter Clark here, and welcome to this month's market update. Now, firstly, a little bit of news from the bigger picture of O'Brien Real Estate. Although we're known as one of the fastest growing real estate networks across Melbourne, our regional reach is also growing rapidly. Over the past few months, we've welcomed new members to the O'Brien family. Peter Joyce and his team joined us in opening the Wangaratta office, which was soon followed by the team of me and Sanderson launching our new office in Wodonga. And we also welcomed our Wonthaggi office to the group with the expansion of the Cows office into their second location. Now for us, our strength is our deep understanding of regional living. We know that what works in the city may not work in the country and vice versa. And our growth into regional Victoria couldn't have come at a better time. If you've been reading any real estate related news lately, particularly from realestate.com.au, you may have heard them say, the more space, flexible working conditions and affordability has successfully tempted property buyers to Australia's regional areas, fueling a huge surge in property values and drastically reducing selling times. CoreLogic's recent quarterly regional market update shows Australia's 25 largest non-capital city regions continue to achieve unprecedented value increases. Over the 12 months to January 2022, 24 regions recorded double digit annual growth uh, for houses, with 18 regions notching up gains in excess of 20%. The median dwelling value across combined regions jumped by 26.1% in the year to January 2022, outpacing the combined capital city dwelling growth rate of 21.3% for the same period. Now, you may be wondering, what does any of this have to do with O'Brien Real Estate? Well, as the markets gain traction and property prices increase, people begin to expect more. They want higher levels of service and an offering to match the commissions that they're paying their agents. Our O'Brien team are amongst some of the highest trained and network agents in the business. Our professional development calendar, along with our regional specific focus to help our owners build their businesses is what's got them jumping for the O'Brien brand. Now our team are aware of what's happening at a national level, but most importantly, they've been tuned into the rapidly changing ball ball market. In the past 12 months, we've noticed a few key points we felt compelled to share with you. So one, over 1,200 of the approximately 17,000 properties in our region were sold with a turnover rate of 7.2%. Number two, after an initial slow start to 2020, as everyone adapted to the pandemic, the last 12 months has seen a 36% growth in the number of sales volume. Number three, our median home price now sits at $550,000, which is up a whopping 18.3% on 12 months ago, and an incredible 66.7% from five years ago. And number four, the average days on market for our region is down to 22 days, one of the lowest in the country. You see, there are many factors that are currently impacting the property market in our region and across the board. Yes, prices have gone up and we expect they'll continue to. Sure, we may not see the growth sustained at 18.3%, but research suggests that the average completion time of new builds is continuing to blow out. Whilst the availability of land is continuing to decrease in volume and subsequently an increase in prices. The Australian Financial Review just recently reported it's a very challenging year for builders given a huge level of demand for materials, labour and drop in migration, citing that the volume of new home sales has been hitting record levels but economic conditions making profitability a real challenge. You see, we've seen a lot of change. Our investors that entrust us with their properties have seen an estimated collective growth in their assets of, of more than $70 million in the past 12 months. So indeed, all signs suggest that it's a great time to be in the property market. And whilst expected interest rates can slow the growth, we suspect they'll only correct it back to a sustainable level. So that's all from me for this month. We hope the year has started really well from you. And a big special thanks goes out to the crew at Rosalie Homes who have allowed us to film at their newest display, The Audrey. If you haven't visited it yet, make sure you do. It's an incredible property. So until next time, all the best, and we'll see you soon.